Hi, just a quick tip video for you today. So this is a new feature in the new layout branch of highs, but of course by the time you're watching this it may be in the master branch. So in the new layout branch we've got a new layout to the sampling workspace, and one cool feature we have is the ability to open our audio files in an external editor. So your audio files mustn't have been converted to a monolith. They must still be in. Uh, uh, they must still be WAV files, and you have to have saved the sample map for this to work. And once you've made sure you've got those two criteria, go to settings and scroll down until you find where is it? There it is. External editor path, and click browse and select your favourite audio editor. So I'm going to select Audacity, so that'll be in this folder somewhere. There it is, and I'll hit OK, and you can see it's entered the path to Audacity in there. I'm going to hit Save, and now if I go up to this little button here, once I've selected a sample, this one here, this Edit button, and I click that, and if we wait a moment, it opens the sample file in Audacity, and I can make tweaks here, and then if I resave the file, in fact let's do that, let's cut out a chunk, let's export it, and we'll overwrite the original, and highs has popped up with this message here, so click OK to reload the sample map, we'll go back to highs, and the cut that we made in Audacity is now there in highs. So this is a really cool workflow if you need to edit your audio files once you've already imported them into highs. Alright, I hope you found this quick tip useful. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.